Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. This is going to be a very interesting video because we're going to be taking a look at a fantastic product that will make your lives so much easier when cleaning out your gaming PC or workstation PC. You might have clicked on this video because you have a dusty PC and are wondering what's the best method for cleaning out all that dust. Cleaning out dust from your PC is crucial in regards to making sure your components are operating under ideal temperatures, are able to provide you with optimal performance, and have a lengthy lifespan. As dust buildup can cause obstructions in airflow, which can therefore cause high temps and can lead to problems in the long run. You might have seen or been recommended that these compressed air cans can usually do the job, and they can if your PC isn't caked in dust. However, they're not ideal and over time aren't cost effective because they run out and then you'll have to go out and buy another one. I've seen these compressed air cans go anywhere from 4 to 15 Canadian dollars depending on where you buy it from and the brand. As someone who builds many PCs and ensures their parts and systems run optimally, I have to stay on top of my cleaning, and so I've gone through quite a lot of these air cans. These air cans can lose pressure over time and you also run the risk of potentially damaging your components since they can shoot out moisture. So that is where this little device comes in. This is the X-Power A2, an electric air blower slash duster. I'm honestly kicking myself in the back for not buying this duster ages ago. After buying this, you can go ahead and say goodbye to canned air, as this is miles better than any of them. If you're interested, link will be in the video description. To start off, let's do a quick unboxing. Take a look at the packaging and see what we get inside the box. It comes in a fairly small cardboard box that has some information about the product on the sides. They tell you what comes inside the box in terms of accessories, and on the other side they have some specifications listed. This X-Power A2 Duster has a motor that's rated for 0.75 horsepower and can blow up to 90 CFM of air, and while that might not seem like a lot, trust me, it's very powerful for its size and for our use case. As for power consumption, it uses up to 540 watts while under operation. Opening up the box, we have a carry bag included which is nice, so you can take this with you on the go. We've got the unit itself wrapped in plastic and 9 additional tips which we'll talk about in just a moment. Apart from that, that's pretty much all you get. I would have liked to see a bit of foam padding on the inside of the box so as to prevent all the pieces from getting thrown around in there and to prevent any potential damages, but everything was packed up nice and snug in there so it's not a huge deal. Looking at the unit itself, it's pretty nice and sleek looking, it has a can style shape going for it, and I also really like the lime green color, it makes the product stand out. In regards to dimensions, the duster is 9.7 centimeters long, 17.1 centimeters wide, and is 18.3 centimeters in terms of height. It also just weighs 2.3 pounds, so it's fairly light and portability shouldn't be an issue. I also really liked how the cord was 10 feet long, so you'll be able to easily move the duster around while cleaning your PC without having to worry about reach issues. There's also a little air filter on the bottom of the unit. Overall, it feels pretty solid in the hands, and it was comfortable to use and has a pretty robust build quality. Now circling back to the various tips that were included with this unit, they give you 9 tips of various sizes, styles, and openings. Make the product very versatile. And so you guys can use it in various areas to get into those nooks and crannies, those really hard to reach areas. The tip that I was primarily using was the long nozzle tip as it allowed me to focus the blower towards a specific area or part. I did also use the very thin and narrow tip to help blow out dust from those small and tight corners. Along with that you also get tips with soft bristles on them. These are pretty helpful in removing any dust from radiator fins or mesh panels as sometimes you can have a layer of dust sitting on there that might require a little bit of light agitation. So I very much appreciated the fact that they give you all these various tips so that you can use the product for various applications and areas to suit your needs. Let's move on to the actual cleaning portion of this video. As you guys can see, the case that I'm using for my personal rig is the Corsair Air 740. I've been using this case for almost 4 years now and it's been great. It's a dual chambered case where the power supply and drive sit in the back, and in the front area you've basically just got your motherboard tray with all the fan mounts, so cooling and airflow is excellent. However, as you guys can imagine with a case like this, you'll definitely have some dust buildup over time with how much air it's moving. However, this case has some nice mesh panels and a dust filter for the front intake to mitigate that. Generally, I recommend recommend dusting out your PC every six months, but depending on where you live, what your environment is like, you could have to clean it out earlier than that. I also recommend doing this outside, like in your garage or backyard, somewhere that's well ventilated because there will be a lot of dust getting blown around and you don't want all that nasty stuff in your work or living space. To start off, what I did was take off all the exterior panels off of my case. This way I can separately clean the mesh panels since that is where I noticed a lot of the dust accumulating. This should allow me to thoroughly clean them off and as I'll have direct access to blow off all the dust from both of the sides of the panel. This will also allow me to reach the fans more easily and, and the inside of my case. And as you guys 
can see as I'm taking the panels off, there is quite a bit of dust on the mesh portions, but that's good. This way we know that the case is doing its job in preventing most of the dust from actually going inside. But you'll notice as I went around and did an inspection of the PC, there was a decent amount of dust that was inside, resting on the case fans, the graphics card, the CPU heatsink, the motherboard, and even the power supply in the back, and we definitely don't want that. Oh, and you should also probably be wearing a mask while doing this. You don't want to be breathing in all that nasty debris. So once I did that, it was time I started blowing out all the dust, and as I started to use this, the first area I targeted was the front dust filter, and this thing just blew all the dust away with ease. I was quite impressed to see just how powerful the X-Power A2 duster was. It's miles ahead of any of the compressed air cans that I've used in the past. I was primarily using the highest setting, but even on the low setting, there was a lot of air being thrown out. So as you guys can see, just using the duster with the long nozzle, working my way around the PC towards the inside, it's easily just getting all that dust out of there. What I like is that there seems to be enough pressure to get rid of dust, but still seems to be safe for the components themselves. So you shouldn't end up damaging any connections or you know end up with a broken capacitor or anything like that. You can easily get into small tight corners, use it on the fan blades, get in between wires, the heatsink fins, and you can just see how much dust is getting blown out. I did also switch tips midway through to the small narrow tip, as this helped me get the dust out of those very fine and thin areas. After that, I worked on the inside where the power supply and wiring is, and yeah, I know it looks like a mess, but with dual chambered cases, I hardly have to worry about cable management. But going back to the topic on hand, you guys can see just how easily it was able to get all the dust out of my PSU, off the drives, and wiring. Once I was done cleaning the PC, I moved on to the exterior panels, and just like with the interior, the dust came off fairly easily. However, there was a light layer of dust that still remained on the mesh, and to get rid of that, I used a brushed a nozzle, and with a bit of agitation, it easily got the remaining bit of dust off. I had also used a brushed nozzle to go over the radiator fins and the front dust filter. It was quite effective at that and ensured there was no dust buildup left behind. Once that was all done, it was just a matter of putting back all the exterior panels and that was pretty much it. Once I had finished with that, I gave the PC one proper look and I gotta say I was very satisfied with how it turned out and was really pleased with the final result. There was hardly any dust left inside of the PC, all the fans were clear, there was no dust settling on any of the components, the radiator fins, the mesh panels, the filter, it was all very clean. This way, it'll keep my PC looking nice and tidy, will ultimately help improve airflow, resulting in better thermals and temps. The X-Power A2 Duster has me seriously impressed. Like I said earlier, I should have bought this ages ago. It's way better than compressed air cans, miles ahead, and this way I'll be saving a lot of money as well. It's a lot more powerful and there's more pressure. You don't have to worry about this thing losing pressure on you. It's continuous and, you know, with air cans, they also go cold and there's also that risk of moisture getting blown on your components and possibly shorting something else. So you don't have to deal with anything like that. If you're a PC hardware enthusiast, then I highly recommend getting yourself one of these. It'll make your life so much easier when it comes to cleaning your gaming rig. If you're interested, there will be an affiliate link down in the video description. So check it out. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.